Today, presidential candidate Bernie Sanders has introduced a bill that would make all four-year colleges and universities tuition-free. It is the College for All Act, and here are some basic uh, pieces of information about it. Under the plan, the federal government would cover 67%, $47 billion each year, of the costs for that tuition for all four-year colleges and universities. States would be required to produce the remaining 33% of the costs, or $23 billion. The bill will decrease interest rates on current student loans, which is very important to me since I'm already out of college, cutting them almost in half from 4.32% to 2.32%. The bill would also allow current borrowers to refinance their loans with a new 2.35% rate. Now, I apologize for immediately throwing interest rates at you. That's not generally how you get people excited in a new policy, but this is significant. This would cause the America in one fell swoop to catch up to our Scandinavian and other European allies, who also in many cases offer free four-year uh, tuition for colleges and universities. Now. Don't get it twisted. This does not allow anyone to go to Harvard or to name whatever school you want as Republicans will try to pitch this plan. And they do actually uh, explain in the bill how exactly we would go about funding it. This is not a completely unfunded mandate on either the federal government or on the state's governments. Uh, Bernie Sanders, I think, has a very reasonable plan for how we would actually fund this. We'll get into that very soon. Jimmy, what is your response to the uh, College for All Act? How are we, we going to pay for this, Johnny? We it gonna seems get the, impossible. We're going to get the money. We're broke. We're America broke. is broke. We don't have any money, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So they they say this all the time, right? They're going to. That's what that's going to be. But where are we going to get this money from? Where are you going to get this money from? Where does this money come from? I don't know. Maybe I'll get it from the people of the United States, seeing that we're the <laughs> richest country in all of the universe. In fact, we're so rich. We still have an economy twice the size of China. Still, you're mm. kidding me. How could that be? You mean, yeah, we only have 300 people, 300 million people. China has a couple of billion people, right? So we have, we're have we much richer country than people want you to believe. Exactly. Uh, we can totally afford to send our students, our, our young people to college for free. We can totally afford it. Yeah. It's, so when they say we're broke, and uh, you and you hear me say that we're the richest country in the world with an economy twice the size of China. When those politicians tell you we're broke or those newsmen tell you we're broke mm -hmm. and we can't afford this, they're either full of shit or they're using a Texas math book because we're flush <laughs> with cash, okay? <laughs> we're flush with cash. We got more money than we know what to do with. Corporations are sitting on $5 trillion. We've got more yeah. cash than we know what to do with. We can't bomb it. They always have money for bombs. When they say we're broke, they don't mean we can't afford things like trillion-dollar wars, trillion-dollar bank bailouts, yeah. prison construction, and oil subsidies. They mean they can't afford stuff like free college yeah. for you. That's what they mean they can't afford. We have, we have a very weird version in our political uh, discussion that goes on in this country of the old thing, that, the old trick that people try to play on you. Which, which way is more, a pound of iron or a pound of feathers? We have, which is, which is affordable, a billion dollars of bombs or a billion dollars of food stamps or free college? And for some reason, people hear that and they think, well, one of those seems reasonable. The other, let's not get crazy with our spending. Uh, but I do want to give Bernie Sanders a chance to defend uh, his, what I think seems like a not needed to be defended policy. He was on uh, with Wolf Blitzer on CNN and here is his explanation of that policy. Everybody in this country, regardless of their income, if they have the ability, they're going to get a college education. And today, I just introduced legislation that would make public college, co public colleges and universities tuition free. Where's the money going to come from? A tax on Wall Street speculation. And that's exactly where it should come Talk from. about that. What does that mean, a tax on Wall Street speculation? What it means is right now, uh, you have people who are becoming phenomenally wealthy by speculating in derivatives and every other type of esoteric instrument that they can. Uh, people are getting very rich on Wall Street. What we're going to impose is what exists in dozens of countries around the world, a very modest tax on the transference of large amounts of stock. Boom. Uh, when you watch Bernie Sanders, I think most of us who watch a lot of, of CNN, unfortunately, uh, he immediately strikes you as, man, this guy doesn't seem like a president. And I often wonder what that is. And then I realize, oh, People ask him questions, and he answers the question immediately without evasion. He answers the actual question as asked. He is speaking for the American people. It's pretty amazing to hear him explain this, and it seems so goddamn reasonable. How do you think they're going to undercut him on this? Well, I just I love when, uh, well, what we just said previous, how they're going to undercut him. You know, we don't have money, we're broke, and you want to you want to you want to take money from one group of people and give it to the other people. 
Yeah, that's called taxes. <laughs> that's what taxes are. Taxes take money from one part of the economy and they use it in another part of the economy. That's what a tax is. That's the fundamental thing that every government in world history has ever done. Yes. And we want to do that to the benefit of literally millions of Americans and the long-term economic benefits our entire country would reap for decades or centuries afterward. We're, that sounds reasonable that when you sounds put it that re way, I think. That sounds very reasonable. Yeah. We're still living in a country, by the way, where we're, we've been bombing Iraq for four straight presidencies and now we have... Uh, Students in high schools and 40 kids in class yeah. because we can't afford 20. We can't afford a good of education system as they do in Scandinavia, right? Some somehow Finland has got more money to spend on education than the richest economy the world has ever known. Well, That's bullshit. We do have the money. They don't want to spend it. And it's like when Wolf Blitzer asked Bernie Sanders right there, where, where are you going to get the money from? Uh, it sounds like he was talking to Willie Sutton. That was the famous guy. They go, hey, why'd you rob the bank? He goes, that's where the money is. <laughs> why did you? Where are we gonna, why are you going to go to Wall Street? Because that's where all the money is. And we're going to yeah. take that money from Wall Street, and we're going to use it to send kids to college. Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, that is the that is the argument they're gonna they're gonna try to to sideline him with. I yes. love that he has an answer ready to go. He did not hesitate Bam. for a split second. He immediately said it. Um, but here is more of the exchange between those two men. But does that mean a very modest, is that going to pay for tuition-free education? More than that. This is a very effective and progressive way to raise money. The estimate is it could bring in as much as $300 billion a year. Do you think Republicans are going to go along with this? No, of course they're not. Well, then if, they, if they're not going to go along with it, it's not going to become the law. No. Right? Well, I don't think it's going to be passed tomorrow. But I think what we have to do is the American people will go along with it. The American people think it's absurd that our young people are leaving school deeply, deeply in debt and young people can't afford to go to college. I believe we got to join Germany, Scandinavia, many other countries around the world and say, if you have the ability, regardless of your income, you're going to be able to go to college tuition free. So you want to raise taxes? On the very wealthiest people in this country? Absolutely. Boom! Just answers it as if, well, I've, I've asked you if you want to raise taxes. Now, you're a politician in America. You have to say no, and you have to look ashamed that it was even necessary that I ask. But no, he doesn't do that. He because goes, he's, he's a thinking politician who understands the priorities of the American people. We're, I was getting ready to see a backpedal and a song and dance, and how is he going to skirt around this issue? And how yeah. he's going to no, exactly? We're going to we're going to tax the richest people in the in the world. <laughs> they're the ones who live right here in the United States. We're, we're going to get them to give some of their yeah. fucking billions of dollars that they're never going to spend, and we're going to put it to good use. So instead of yeah. it just sitting somewhere in an offshore account, we're going to have some of that money, put some of our kids to college. Oh, maybe we have a yeah. stronger economy and a stronger country because that's what it seems to work for the rest of the world. And when they invest in education, all of a sudden their economy picks up. Isn't that weird? That is odd. Yeah. Uh, Wolf Litzer said there, uh, the Republicans aren't going to want to pass this, so why would you even bring it up? Yeah. What is Wolf Blitz? What what does he think his job is? I, I don't. What, he, what, he, what profession yeah, the is he in? What country does he live in? But the Republicans won't go along with it. So we all know you can only propose things that Republicans will go along with. Like they won't go along with Medicare for all. So that's why he had to propose the ACA. They didn't go along with that either. Oh yeah, <laughs> but, we, but we got that passed. Somehow we got that passed. You have to take their priority, do a weaker version, version of, of it, it, and then have them ream you for eight years about it. That's yeah. how politics works in America. Yeah, yeah. You can't bring up a policy and hope that it'll seem reasonable to hundreds of millions of Americans so that it'll influence the discourse. You need to only bring it up if it's already a stated goal of the opposing political party. This is America and that's how democracy does not work.